Hi friends, good day. Today let us try to understand about what is beta in stock market, what are the types of beta, advantages and disadvantages of beta through this video. According to Jack Schwager, there is no single market secret to discover, no single correct way to trade the markets. Those seeking the one true answer to the markets haven't even gotten as far as asking the right question, let alone getting the right answer. Before we go in, please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. What is beta? Beta is a numeric value that measures the volatility of the stocks in relation to the changes in the overall stock market. In general and by definition of stock market, the market such as S&P 500 index has a beta of 1 and the other individual stocks are ranked according to how much they deviate from the market. This helps the investors to decide whether he wants to go for the riskier stocks, that is, the stocks that are highly correlated with the market and has a beta of above 1 or less volatile stocks which has lower risk and has a beta below 1. High beta stocks are supposed to be riskier but have higher return potential whereas the low beta stocks have low risk but also gives lower returns. How is the beta in the stock market determined? The formula of beta is calculated as follows. Beta is equal to covariance of a specific stock with a benchmark index in the share market of India divided by the variance of the respective security over a stipulated period. The beta coefficient can be interpreted as follows. If the beta is equal to 1, it means it is as volatile as the market. If the beta is more than 1, it means that the stocks are more volatile than the market. If the beta is less than 1 but greater than 0, it means that the stocks are less volatile than the market. If the beta is equal to 0, it means that the stocks are uncorrelated to the market. During the periods of a boom, when the market is soaring, the stocks having the high beta value are expected to generate more returns. On the other hand, a downside of the share market can lead to more losses as a fall in the value of the benchmark indices can have an adverse effect on beta stocks. Examples of beta High beta, a company with a beta value greater than 1 means, as mentioned above, the stocks are more volatile than the market. For example, a company with a beta of 1.85 would have returned 185% of what the market returned in a given period. It also means the stocks deviate 85% more than the overall market. Low beta. A company with a beta value lower than 1 means it is less volatile than the market. For example, a company with a beta value of 0 0.45 which would have returned only 45% of what the market returned in a given period. What are the types of beta in Indian stock? Beta greater than 1. This implies high volatility and high responsiveness of the corresponding stocks to the overall share market. Such shares are expected to deliver more returns on the total investment and usually comprise of the securities issued by small and mid-cap companies. This also implies that there is a high risk factor associated with these shares as the underlying companies often lack the financial backing to cover the costs in case of market downfall or adversity. As a result, any dip in the benchmark index points leads to a severe fall in the value of the corresponding stocks. Beta less than 1 This implies the relative stability of a stock. This means that the stocks having a beta less than 1 are relatively stable and their returns are not adversely affected by the variation in the market. Beta is equal to 1. These securities have the parallel or same effect on the share price and its return on earnings with the market fluctuations when compared to the benchmark index. Large cap companies have a beta value of 1 as it is one of the major benchmark indices operating in the country. Beta is equal to 0. Investment tools that have no risk at all demonstrate a beta value of 0. For example, 
government bonds, fixed deposits, cash, etc. It is ideal for the investors with no risk appetite. Beta lesser than zero. These are the securities that have an inverse relation with the stock market and hold a negative beta coefficient. In case of a crash or a severe market fluctuation, investors often invest their money in these securities for higher returns. Gold is an example of such investment having a negative beta as its value tends to rise over time. Advantages of using beta coefficient One of the most popular advantages of beta is to estimate the cost of equity in valuation models. The CAPM, that is Capital Asset Pricing Model, CAPM, estimates an asset's beta based on a single factor and that is the systematic risk of the market. The cost of equity which is derived by the CAPM reflects a reality in which most investors have a diversified portfolio from which unsystematic risk has been successfully diversified away. Systematic risk refers to the probability of loss which is linked to the whole market segments such as changes in government policy for specific industry. While risk associated with a particular industry is referred to as unsystematic risk such as labor strike. Beta value of securities is one of the significant coefficients that investors analyze before investing. It helps the investors in analyzing the unsystematic or market-related risk related to a company, thereby indicating the level of interdependence between the two parameters. Disadvantages of using beta coefficient The biggest disadvantage of using beta is that it relies only on the past returns and does not take into account the new information that may impact returns in the future. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and do share.